Now, for this function, uh, x cubed minus 1 over x minus 2, for this function, um, if we tried to use direct substitution, we could see that we get a 0 in the denominator. We don't get it in the top, but we do get a 0 in the, in the bottom. So, um, that actually means there's an asymptote. And if you graph this, there actually is no limit at uh, x equals 2. So, and that's because approaching it from both sides, you get different values. So, this is a two-sided limit. So, let's, let's see what's happening here. Um, normally, I could try and factor this out. This is a difference of cubes. Maybe I'll try that. And then see if something cancels. Remember, you can factor a difference of cubes by having uh, a, well, this is x and 1, same sign as this, so it's minus, and this would be x squared, this would be 1 squared, and then, oops, and in the middle it's uh, a times b, so that would be x, and then, so same sign, opposite sign, always positive. So we could fig um, factor that out, but uh, there's nothing cancels with that x uh, minus 2. So anytime something in your function is going to zero, it's a good idea to check the two-sided limit. So if I did the limit as x approaches 2 from the left side, um, x cubed minus 1 over x minus 2. This is approaching zero. So this is approaching zero, but it's approaching zero if I have something that's smaller than 2, subtracting 2, that gives me a negative. Like if I have 1.9 minus 2, that's negative 0.1. So this actually becomes negative. And if I have this, what 2, and I can use direct substitution here, um, two, ta 2 cubed is 8. 8 minus 1 is positive. So really, I have something positive in the top, and I'm going to 0 in the bottom. So this, if you remember the limit as x approaches 0 from the right side of 1 over, sorry, we're doing from the, we're doing from the negative uh, version. So from the left side of 1 over x, if the denominator gets really, 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 really tiny and the numerator doesn't, then this goes to infinity or negative infinity. So that's, that's what this whole fraction goes to. It, that's, this is an important limit. Um, I'll write the other ones down in a moment. But this would go, this would do the same thing, negative infinity, because the, the whole entire fraction isn't, or sorry, the, the top isn't going to zero, the bottom is. So it either goes to infinity or positive infinity. If I check the other side, x approaching 2 from the right side, we get the opposite reaction, or example. I don't know what, what to say. So here I'm plugging in like 2.1. So this still goes to zero, however, it's going from a positive perspective, and this is also positive. So when the bottom is going to zero, uh, the whole thing goes to infinity. Technically, the limits do not exist, but we can uh, say infinity or negative infinity because um, that's uh, describing how it doesn't exist. It's just describing where it tends towards. Um, and I can encourage you to graph this, and you'll see that... Um, it has an asymptote. I mean, we have zero in the denominator. Of course, we're going to have a vertical asymptote. And then the function looks like like that. From the left side, we go down to negative infinity. From the right side, we go up to positive infinity. Um, the other important limits are limit as x approaches zero from the right. Uh, 1 over x, that's going to be positive infinity. If I say limit as x approaches zero from both sides uh, of 1 over x, that's going to be does not exist, like strictly does not exist. It doesn't go to positive or negative infinity. Why is that? That's because for a two-sided for a two-sided limit to exist, both the left-hand side limit has to agree with the right-hand side. So those are important. Um, and then I suppose limit as x approaches positive or negative infinity. We're not there yet, but I'm going to write it down anyway. If the bottom goes to infinity, the whole entire fraction goes to zero. And it doesn't actually matter which way you're going from. Um, if you looked at the graph of 1 over x, it looks like this. So if you're going way, way, way out to the right, yeah, your graph is approaching the x-axis, which is a y value of zero. Same thing happening on the other side. So this one does exist, plus or minus. Cool, I'm done with this video.